Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. We've got a bundle for Unity developers over on the Unity Asset Store. Even though if you don't use Unity, there are ways to get these things out. I will have the relevant links down below. So if you're using Godot or Unreal, etc., I have ways of getting things exported out of those. Check the links down below. But this one is the Lunar New Year bundle. Interestingly enough, no Mega this year, just bundle. I wonder if they're dropping the Mega bundle branding. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward. Basically, it's organized into three tiers. You save up to 95% off the entire bundle if you buy up to that third tier. And frankly, Buying any other tier almost never makes sense because they don't have humble style pricing. The first tier is 20 bucks. Uh, so it's not like it's a $1 tier. It goes 20 to 25 to 30. So when you look at the number of assets you're getting here at the 30, you're gonna see, yeah, yeah, that this would be the, the tier you buy. The other thing to notice here is I stayed logged in for this one. So anything that I've bought will have purchased on it. So if it was in a previous bundle, either humble or uh, a mega bundle on the Unity Asset Store, uh, you'll notice the purchase behind it. So this is a repeat, this is a repeat, this is a repeat. Uh, this is a repeat. This is a repeat. And that's it. So realistically, about, I would say, 70% uh, of this bundle is completely new. So what we're going to do is go through them. First tier right here, I would mostly ignore the tiers because like I said, if you're going to buy this, you're going to spend 30 bucks. It just doesn't make sense to spend just 20 bucks. The other underlying theme of this bundle, it's fantasy. So you're going to see a lot of fantasy oriented aspects here. Uh, the first one here is fantasy game sound effects. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so a wide variety of, uh, let's see, 108 new sounds, creatures, magic weapons, ambience loops, and so on. Then we get into Curve Master. Uh, so improve your animation workflow with Curve Master keyframing tool you've been waiting for. Next up, we have Flow Reactor, another visual scripting solution. So there's a bunch of these out there. There's like Bolt, there's uh, other ones that I can't think of right now. Oh man, my brain is not working. There's a ton of visual scripting solutions out there for Unity. Uh, and this is another one, high level visual scripting editor, create a high level flows within a professional node editor. Use your custom nodes, which are tailored to, to, to your project. So if you're looking for an alternative visual scripting solution, that's what Flow Reactor is all about. By the way, if there's anything here you really wanna see me jump into, let me know. I could do a dedicated video on it, but I don't really think I saw too many things in here that would probably merit their own video. Uh, so jumping up to the median tier, 25 bucks, you're getting another sound effect pack. This is the uh, Battle Sounds Library, Magic and Melee. Uh, this has uh, magic, melee sounds, magical weapons, no breakdown of the numbers. Now, interestingly enough, they do have that they use chat GPT for, for certain things there. Uh, but I don't know why you'd use ChatGPT for an audio tool. Interesting in that regard. So uh, that's a disclosure that they've got going on. I don't know if that's just a new thing across Unity in general, but uh, just something to be aware of. Uh, then we got Fairy Fantasy Heroes Character Creator. Basically, it's like you take a templated character using almost a game style interface, and you make up a variety of sprite sheets of that kind. Uh, so that's, yeah. Uh, next up, we have the Dark Fantasy Gigantic Environment. Uh, the name says it all. It is a kind of a dungeonous environment here. Uh, Pipeline-wise, uh, it doesn't actually say. Uh, Asset is compatible with the ERP and the built-in. So this is not for the HDRP, although if you can get it working with built-in and ERP, you could get it working with HDRP as well. Uh, it's generally the other way that you can't make work. And then finally, we go up to the final tier, the $30 tier. And what do we got here? First off, we have the game GUI for fantasy RPG, so buttons and icons and so on and so forth. Next, we have the a fluffy grooming tool, a Unity editor solution for fur and short hair. So if you need to have a fur solution, and that is what this is all about. It's a tool for setting it up for you, which is pretty cool. I also have Olympic support, which is kind of nice. Uh, then we have the sensor toolkit too. This is for doing things like line of sight, if someone's vision. Uh, it's something that, you know, a, a ray casting kind of solution for sensors in your world. It's one of those things you definitely uh, need in just about every kind of game ever created. Uh, so if you're looking for an advanced vision setups, a line of sight, that kind of thing, uh, that's what this is all about providing. Uh, then we get to the Fantasy Monsters Animated Mega Pack. Uh, so this seems to be the same art style as that creator earlier on, but it's a variety of um, animated 2D sprites of monsters. If Obviously, it would have to match your art style to be of any use to you. Uh, then we've got Grab It, a physics transform tool. I actually used this one in the past. I may have covered it in, in a, a previous video, but it actually, uh, so it's like a, a widget for moving things in your world, but it actually uses physics. So you can kind of toss things, throw things, place them more organically. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it, it was one of the tools that I, I, I had fun playing with. You may or may not like it, uh, but I actually did enjoy it. Uh, so then we've got the 2D fantasy sprite bundle. You see here, it seems to be more for creating 2D worlds. Again, uh, tile map setup. 
Uh, so you can see all the assets included a wide variety of actual um, biomes in this pack, which is actually pretty nice. So a pretty large selection of sprites for creating background environments. Uh, then we get a texture pack. So 250, oh, sorry, 2,500 plus stylized textures, nature, walls, floors, fantasies, and more. Uh, we have the fantasy map creator. I love these things. It's for creating, again, fantasy style maps very niche mind you and there's quite a few tools out there for creating this kind of thing but this one is built uh directly inside of unity uh interesting pack uh, works with all three major pipelines uh then we've got the um illustrated nature so again this one is from a previous thing it appears to be like uh like um non photorealist non photo not npr non photorealistic renderer uh, type environment here for us like a stylized nature biome uh then we've got uh the top down tile set fantasy dreamland uh so for kind of snes ness kind of tile based rpg games from above tile sets for that again this is the kind of thing that would very easily export outside of the um, Unity game engine, you could use this in, you know, RPG Maker or Godot or wherever you wanted to. And then we get the Fantasy Forest environment. Again, pretty straightforward. It's a uh, kind of stylized, uh, yeah, definitely stylized uh, Fantasy Forest environment. Uh, next up, we have the Mobile Tools 2.0 plus example games. Uh, so key features include uh, achievements, leaderboards, in-app purchases, rate game pop-up, localization, daily rewards, cross promo and notification, all platform save, daily rewards, easy achievements, easy in-app purchases, localization, mobile ads, mobile cross promo, mobile notification and rate game. So all those things are bundled together into this bundle. So if you're making a mobile title and you need to add those things, that's what this toolkit gives you. Uh, then we got the runtime transform handles. I do believe that this is like the Unity style handles, but uh, you can add them in your actual game at runtime. So if you need to have a game with placement, you need to have a widget inside of your game or an application, uh, this gizmo would solve that for you. Uh, next up, we have the runtime level design. Uh, so this is a suite of well-crafted level design tools that enable you to build runtime level editors, modding tools, or any type of application game that contains level design elements. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. So features include plug initialization, scene and asset prep, prefab libraries, and runtime prefab picker, object to object snapping, and so on and so forth. So it almost sounds like if you want to create a level creator, creator level design, uh, runtime level design is what you're looking for. And then we have a V hierarchy. Uh, so organize hierarchies and streamline your workflow with simple quality of life improvements, no clutter, intuitive, customizable, custom icons, component mini map, customizable palette, so on and so forth. So. If you want to have your hierarchies look much different than they do now, uh, that's what you can do with this guy. Uh, and then we've got, that's it, actually. So, and then we've got nothing else. So that is this year's Lunar New Year bundle. Again, uh, you can save up to 95% off if you buy this tier only. I don't think anybody is going to buy this tier or this tier. If you are, actually let me know, because I'm curious to hear uh, why you would just, if you were willing to spend 20 bucks, but you weren't willing to spend 30 bucks, and in the $30, you get a whole lot more stuff is it just a matter that you literally just wanted that one item? I guess it would make sense. So, for example, Flow Reactor here, I believe it was, so it'd be three in, two, three, uh, 50 bucks normally. So, you're getting it for 20 bucks, $30 savings. If you weren't interested in anything else, I suppose it makes sense to buy on that level. But let me know what you think of this bundle in general. Again, if you want to export out to another game engine, the options are all available down below. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.